what's your take on this spin-off? Surprised by it? Or, or it's kind of been in the works as a question mark for many years, but no one expected it in the short term. You have one of the largest retailers, one of the most iconic brands <clears throat> in the history of time that has been declining every single year for the past decade. Then you have this Old Navy, which in theory is a discounter. It's everything that you would want in a retailer today, but it's saddled with this larger institution. They've had to do something to get the stock higher. This feels like that something to get the stock higher. But this is about the stock. This is not about the company. This is not about thinking about how the improvement, because those companies, the concepts, they make a lot of sense together. They're synergistic. They are? Because I was going to say, <coughs> I could, I, to me, if you could get the right people in place, and I feel like part of the problem is they have struggled to get the right people in place. If you could actually give them real focus on Banana Republic, which is, to me is just one of the, one of the I mean, in, during my childhood, Banana was a great brand yep. that has just fallen to the, you know, I don't even want to get into it. And if you could also get someone separately focused on the gap and separately <laughs> focused on Old Navy, you don't think that that could actually boost not just the stock in terms of the, 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 the day, yeah. but in terms of the actual company. <clears throat> So it's operations. Yeah, it, listen, it's a great point, but what I would say is you can have those leaders and still be in the same entity where you can leverage the business. Think about in this era of conglomerates, think about Amazon, right? One company doing 18,000 different things. Even beyond other retailers that are mex meshed together, the Gap customer knows that they're all owned by the same business because they cross shop them, because they have cross loyalty program. That's very rare. Even think about an urban outfitters with an urban and an anthropology. Do they with Old Navy though? They, they do, do with Gap, yeah. Banana Republic, and yeah. Athleta. Right? Absolutely, it's seamless. Go on the website; they're all there. And the reality is, you can use those cards. So I think that more than any other one, there actually are these synergies. Geographically, it's off mall. Price wise, it's a little bit more downstream. But the reality is, they appeal to similar demographics, maybe different age points. Is your point uh, this morning that the 20% jump in share price is overdone, therefore? No, I think this makes a lot of sense. I think the reality is if we're thinking about retail and we're thinking about what's going on in this world, financial engineering matters. And depending on what you're looking for as a management team, if you're struggling with your stock price and that's what you care about, this is probably a way to unlock value. I mean, we've spoken a lot, Wilf, about the off-pricers. Mm -hmm. The off-pricers command much better multiples because they live in this box that's called off-price. If they could convince the world Old Navy is off price, they get a better multiple. Personally, I don't think it is off price. But I think that's the idea here and the premise that you could get Old Navy with Gap for free. This is just straight financial engineering. It's what it seems like to me. I think the reality is you have scale, you have opportunities. I don't think that they're looking at an Old Navy margin that's 15%. That's one of the best margins in retail. I don't know that Old Navy looks at is 15% if it's a standalone business. What happens to the, the other brands? I mean, do they get reinvigorated or is that then the really dead stock? as it were, because you've taken the best bit out of it. They haven't even named that company yet. We have Old Navy and Nuco. I think that tells you what they're thinking, right? At the end of the day, we've segmented Old Navy out, and we're going to have to see what happens with these businesses. What's interesting is that Athleta is grouped into that bunch, because in the trophy assets they've been talking about, and if we think about what works in retail today, it's off price and it's athletic. So the fact that Athleta is in there probably starts surfacing and becomes a larger name. As Gap shrinks, I think you start seeing a little bit of a, of a shift in focus there. Could they have, I mean, Athleta is actually in the same physical store as a Gap. Is that why that wasn't included with the spinoff? So they have, they have their own stores. They're in the same malls, let's right. say. So the reality is similar in that you think about Old Navy being totally different strip centers and their own standalones. Athleta can be in different areas. But Athleta has been one of the other Lulus. So you've had this move where there's this series of other athleisure brands to capitalize on this. Athleta has been one of those, very well capitalized given who their parent is, but they haven't made as much noise. Perhaps this is an opportunity for them to step mm -hmm. up.